Oh shit, here we go again. Yo, go, 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 go. What's going on, G Dot family? It's your boy, G Dot TZ, back with another VZ. It's me, you, Pluto. And you know what I'm saying I got that drink in my cup, cup, cup. Bang. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video, though. Um, apparently, 051 Kiddo got his house raided and they found three guns. Now, I just want to start this video off by saying to all my young niggas that watch these videos and everybody that's an uh, ex felon, felon, whatever you got going on, you in the streets, you out the streets, don't be like this dumbass nigga. Don't get out of jail and start dissing everybody in your city and then making all these songs about you gonna smoke this, you gonna do that, I'm getting this, I'm getting that, and then still be doing the same shit. If you gonna get out and start saying all the shit that you gonna do to a nigga, at least have a clean house. Don't get out, say all shit you gonna do to niggas, and then still be actively trying to do that to niggas. That's stupid. But, let's go ahead and get straight into the video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Guaboy G. Dot, and Twitter, Guaboy G. Dot. Let's get it. They really raided this nigga career, though. That's the craziest shit in the world. They raided Recording. this. Recording. And also, I heard about his girlfriend. Apparently, he met his girlfriend while he was in jail and she was holding it down and all this shit. Ladies, I don't know what's going on with y'all. Please stop holding down street niggas in jail because. They're just going to get out and do the same shit. Now, if you got a nigga that's actually, like, got wrong place, wrong time, circumstantial shit, whatever, cool. But if you got a nigga and he gets out of jail and he's still making diss songs, he's still talking about killing people, he's still talking about doing all this bad shit, why are you around that? Do you think this is going to end up good for you? This is, what, this is what you want the father of your children to be doing? Make better decisions. You have poor management if you're doing shit like this. Also, he's ugly and fat. Double whammy. A rifle mag? Oh, that nigga. Three. And you got to think about it, bro. He was already out on, well, he not out on bond. He was out on parole. And you got caught with three pipes in your house. You're not supposed to be around guns anyway. But you got caught with three. Oh, hell no. Nah. And I heard when he got to the county, them niggas in King Key whooped his ass. That's another thing. You can't be talking all the street shit, how you gonna do this and do that, and you're only like 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, five, you're not that tall. You're not that big. You're not this dominant, imposing threat. Niggas is gonna hurt you because there ain't no guns in the county or in prison. Niggas is really gonna hurt you. I think it was only out for like two months. Maybe not. Maybe two months is a stretch. We got probably like six months, I want to say. Maybe. Maybe less than that. And this is what you did? Yo ass stupid. You took your freedom and threw it away. You're stupid. This damn in the worst crash out since Pooh Shiesty. Because that Pooh Shiesty oh, crash out was bad. In there. Um, looks like Meg's taking it. So... They 
deep as hell in his crib too. Like, do you know how you gotta be, or how bad you would to have all those police officers in your career? From what I understand, they got regular police, state, and you got goddamn your PO and all of them involved. Nigga, your parole officer was there, so you don't even got a chance to lie. You only got a chance to get away with the shit. You don't got a chance for nothing. The parole officer was there with the police, so they saw it all. You're done. You're getting some years. You're getting more than five years. So now you're going back to the pen for five. Like, nigga, you're spending more time in jail than you is on the street. You spend more time incarcerated than you did doing regular shit. You didn't even have a life. You have no life. Jail is your life. That's sad. Nigga, they didn't even, they had more shit on you. They had drugs on you too. They said drugs. We don't even want the drugs. We want the guns. Because they know the guns is gonna stick. They know that you're not even supposed to be around no goddamn guns. So the guns is over with. So felony in possession of firearms, felony in possession of three firearms? Three? One, two, three? It's over. It's over. You signed you signed to the streets for life. It's over. You can never get a job again. You're gonna get out in five, seven, ten years. And the streets is not going to be the same. You're probably going to get your ass smoked when you get out because you was just talking all this hot shit. If something don't happen to you in jail already. Because you, you was in jail doing whatever, whatever, cool. But you got out talking that hot shit. So it's like niggas going to be on your ass times 10 when you go back. You dig what I'm saying? It's just it's a bad look. It's just stupid. And they bagging that shit up for evidence. Oh my god. And the craziest part about it all, bro, I know you don't got no bond money. Well, bond money's a stretch. You probably got bond money. You don't have no lawyer money. You don't have lawyer money to fight this shit. You don't got bond and lawyer money. You don't, like, you wasn't out here just getting to that bag and doing shows and all that shit, bro. You just got some clout off the internet. That don't mean nothing, bro. Like... I hope you got a plan. I hope you have some shit figured out before you just got down. You feel me? I hope. I really do. Goofy. You should have stayed back in Chicago, man. No. Yeah, he knew he couldn't stay in Chicago. He would stay in Chicago, got his ass smoked. You know the shit he's talking on these songs, nigga? You can't just stay in Chicago, especially now on 51st and Drexel. The hell? Nigga, you're getting smoked. The hell? Dumbass, nigga. Don't be like this nigga, kid. That nigga is a crash dummy. Do not be like him.